Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I'm asked many times, what telescope should I get if I want to start off in astronomy? Well, it depends on how serious you are. If you just want to show the kids the craters on the moon or do something simple like that, any old telescope or even a good pair of binoculars will suit you just fine. If you want to be serious about getting into amateur astronomy, you need to start off with a really good mount. This is the one that I recommend. This is the ZWO AM5. Now this thing will run you about $2,500, but it's an excellent harmonic mount. It'll hold up to 44 pounds with a counterweight, which means that not only will it hold that nice refractor that you see right there, it'll also hold that white 8-inch Ritchie Crateon and the blue 10-inch Mead SCT. Now on the mount, you'll also see what's called an ASI Air. That's a little computer that runs the telescope. Now, what kind of telescope would I recommend to start off with? First of all, these are mirror-based telescopes. Again, we've got a Ritchie Crateon and we have an SCT. These have to be collimated in order to focus. That's a rather difficult thing to do and it's not something you wanna start right off with. What I would recommend is a nice refractor. That's an 80 millimeter uh, stellar view refractor. It's called an SV80. And this is an Eon 110 millimeter refractor from Orion. And it's a very nice uh, telescope to start with. This has a focal length of about 660 millimeters, Hale Sagan. And down here, we've got about 550. This will get you the moon, it'll get you the larger objects in the sky, the Andromeda galaxy, etc. The nice thing about this particular mount is not only will it handle these telescopes nicely, it'll handle those boys as well. So it's got plenty of room for you to grow with. The other thing that's very nice about it is that little orange and black object down there is what's called a Celestron power tank, and that provides battery power to run the mount and all of the cameras, so you don't even need an electrical outlet. So, this is Bob the Science Guy, and if you want to get started in astronomy, here is my recommendations. Follow me for more tips in the future. Take care.